Thanks again, Bar, for being with us on Bosnia Agile Day 2015. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying yourself with Very us. Very much. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of questions for you, just to go over them uh, in a few minutes. Um, first of all, um, how do we know that our business needs a change? And uh, once we identify that it needs it, how do we know which change is a good one? Well, of course, uh, that's a difficult thing <laughs> to, uh, to determine, but uh, I always look at, at four uh, quadrants. So I always say, what does an organization want to achieve? Do you want, do you want to achieve more revenues or less costs? Mm -hmm. And depending on that question, my next question would be, how can we achieve that with what type of people? People, with t people within the organization or people outside of your organization? Mm -hmm. And then you get four quadrants and you can determine one quadrant to say, okay, if we want to make more money with the same people in our office currently, what do we need to do to achieve that? Okay. That's actually step one of our game storm methodology. Okay. Thanks. And the second one, uh, what actually uh, loop thinking is and how can it help organizations become more agile? Loop thinking is basically applying game design and game loops to your business. Okay. Um, so I got inspired by games like Farmville and Donkey Kong and the mechanics they have because games are very compelling and you do the same thing over and over and over again in good games and that mm -hmm. makes it so addictive. Okay. So why is our job not much fun if it's, if it's doing the same thing over and over and over again and how can we make it more fun and also more effective because routines are our biggest enemy but also our biggest friend or they can be. Mm -hmm. So loop thinking is identifying what type of processes within your company as a whole really w work well I determined four, I say every company should at least address inventing stuff, so inventing process, the making process, of course, the production of their ideas, the selling process, because you're not an artist, but you want to sell your proposition, but also improving on each of those individual process. Okay. So those four processes are loops, and they loop in each other, and you can break them down into smaller loops, saying like, okay, what is our thinking process, which, which loops uh, help our thinking process. For instance, exploring or uh, uh, doing research or uh, li listening to trends, uh, advisors or whatever. Okay, thanks. And uh, when talking about gamification, as we heard something about, uh, how can it actually inspire businesses in being more successful? Um, well, by literally applying mechanics of games to your daily business. And it could be things like setting a goal, for instance. Every game has a goal. Uh, making clear rules for everyone uh, because if a game is unclear people don't like to play it so they stop playing it so you need to be really clear about the rules that you have within the organization but also making sure that people have different ways of achieving their goal because in a good game the player can determine what he does and can suffer the consequences losing a life for instance but mm -hmm. of course in real life we don't want that but um, at least playing uh, and letting, letting them play, just providing the playground for them and making it more fun. And finally, also giving more feedback. I think uh, big companies lack in giving feedback to people, saying, hey, this is really good what you've done, and this is maybe not so good, or room for opportunity at least. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. And uh, where do you see Agile in the future? Where is it all going? I think and hope actually that of course gamification and game elements will make agile tools more and more fun and also more and more effective uh, because I believe fun and functionality should go hand in hand and uh, what we saw today also was with all the visualization techniques and all the brainstorm techniques that there are if we can add a little bit of sauce to it with maybe a timer and maybe some badges or maybe some other fun stuff that actually create a little bit more uh, fun around the functionality then uh, then we're doing uh, the right thing, I think. <laughs> okay, and you've been with us uh, here in Sarajevo. Yep. Uh, in one sentence, what do you think about Sarajevo? Well, honestly, we, we walked through the city yesterday, of course, and the first thing that came to mind for me was love. And it sounds maybe a little bit strange, but love was the thing I felt in the little nice restaurants, the people, uh, the happiness here. So yeah, I'm very proud and thankful that I can be here. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>